Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So you can see I have the scoring wheel in front of me. The scoring wheel is amazing. It's now available to pre-order in the UK from Crafts You Love and it's something that a lot of us have been waiting a long time for. So obviously the scoring wheel is for the maker, you can tell that because it's got its rotary teeth here at the top which allows it to sit within the maker cog. And there are two scoring wheel packs available. There's the single scoring wheel pack which comes with the 01 scoring wheel. And then there is the combo pack which comes with the 01 scoring wheel and the 02 scoring wheel. So the 01 scoring wheel has one score line in it and this is for lighter materials. So things like crepe paper, light cardstock and acetate are going to work great with the 01. The 02 has two score lines in it. This allows it to make two deep parallel score lines so it allows you to work with kind of thicker, heavier coated materials such as poster board and cardboard. The scoring wheel comes with a little button at the top. I'm just going to show you how you change them. So to put a wheel on you're just going to come in and you're going to push that down and it will then click into place. To remove it, you're just going to push the button down again and remove it. To add the 02 on, we're then going to come in and you're going to push and you'll see that if that button is not pushed down, it won't go any further. So we're going to push the button down and it's just going to slide into place and then we can push the button down again and remove it. I definitely advise getting the combo pack um, when you come into design space and you choose the material that you're going to use uh, with your scoring tool, it will tell you whether you need a 01 or a 02. So we are in design space and I have designed a 3D tree topper. This is going to be a community project and I will link to it in the description below. So you can see we've got three elements to it. So this is our front and we've got some holes cut out so we can light up our tree topper. This is the back and then this is going to be my vellum which is going to sit on the inside so we're not going to see all the wires of our lights. Everything is done for you. I've made it uh, the size that I have which is 10.642 by 10.131 but of course you could adjust this if you wanted to. All we need to do is go to make it. You can see we've got score and cut, score and cut and score and cut so we can go to continue. Now of course I am using the scoring wheel today so I will be using my maker, however you can make this if you've got an Air or an Air 2, you're going to use your scoring stylus, you may want to reconsider the materials used though. So this is obviously going to be my vellum, so we're just going to click vellum because it's in my favourites, but if you don't know where it is, it's in browse all materials and it's under paper. So it's telling me that I'll need to load scoring wheel number one. For this mat I'm going to use shimmer paper, again it's in my favourites but if you don't know where it is you're just going to browse all materials and again go down to paper. It's telling us that we will need scoring wheel number two. And again I'm going to use shimmer paper for our back piece and again it's telling us we will need scoring wheel number two.
So you can see that I've come in and I've folded both my vellum and my outside star piece in my shimmer paper. I folded them all on the score lines. So now I've got my back piece and I'm just going to come in and just fold all these score lines over. Now even though they're double score lines, I just let it fold where it wants to fold. To be honest, the score lines are pretty close together anyway, uh, so I just bend it and I let it just kind of fall wherever it wants to fall. So the first thing I want to do is add my vellum to the inside of the front of my star and I'm just going to use some art glitter glue and I'm just going to come around the edge of my star just with a really thin line of glue. I can then come in and just glue it in place. So this is now dry and I've got my lights that I always use which I get from Amazon and I'm just going to come in and place the lights over each of my cut out circles and I'm just going to use my hot glue gun to keep them in place. So now we're going to assemble our star. So both our front and our back section has got tabs all the way around. And the way that I'm doing it is the front tab is going to sit on the back tab and they are then going to sit on top of each other. So you want to come round and glue them all together. Mm -hmm. 